The secret attachment for the CAT AMR, the bipod, which originally increased 13% ADS, is now gone. They removed it, and it is no longer a part of the game or part of the sniper. So I'm going to show you guys the best sniper class setup you can use for multiplayer and for Warzone. And take a look at these clips. I am absolutely shredding with this CAT AMR in respawn with a 7-round mag. This is not even the fastest ADS. After this insane clip, I'll show you guys the class setups and show you what you can do and figure out what attachments will work best for you. My God, bro, what am I doing? Dude, I'm shredding, bro. No, dude, I was streaking like crazy. Oh my god, it did a five on and free for all, bro. What the f Let's go chat, let's go chat. Oh, and the I shot right through him. Ooh, that collab was nasty. <laughs> you say, do you have ammo and, and, and this box? No, not yet. Take him down. Fuck, I need ammo. I'm trying to get it as fast as I can, bro. You're chilling. Still alive? Yep. On me. Oh, got, it. got it, got it, got it, got it. I'm loading. Are they there? Where are they at? Oh, on oh, me. Come on, me. They're down. Oh, never mind. I'm good. Stop that grenade. It was gonna kill me, bro. Oh, something else here. I'm on a 20. Let me know if you have another ammunition block. Yes, sir. No! Oh my god, why'd I chow that? 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 Why the fuck did I chow it, bro? Dude, that nuke was so easy, too. I need to put on, like, fucking scavenger or something or ammunition block, bro. I keep fucking running out of ammo. Yo, what's good, Hot Peppers? If you enjoyed that crazy beginning, be sure to drop a like and hit that sub button. Let's get into the Cat AMR class setup. So just so you know that we were using a blueprint variant. Uh, it's called the Tactical Engineering. So we're going to slap this on and we're going to build it from the ground up. Now I'm going to go over the three base attachments you're going to need for this Cat AMR. The very first attachment is the FSS OLEV laser. If you don't have that, rock the Razorhawk laser light. Now moving on to your second attachment is going to be the Tactical Stock Pad. This will increase your ADS speed to 6.9%. Very, very important attachment there. And then your next attachment is going to be the barrel which is going to be the short barrel this is going to increase your ads speed and your sprint to fire speed now these are your three base attachments that you should be rocking now the last two attachments you can swap them out to whatever you feel personally comfortable with. Of course, this all depends on if you're playing Respawn or SND. If you're playing Respawn, you can rock the seven round mag. And then for the rear grip, I would use the Phantom Grip. Now, if you feel like you wanna increase the bolt speed, you can swap out the Phantom Grip and put on the Quick Bolt. If you feel like the ADS speed is really good enough. So kind of go back and forth between those two and see what you like. Now, moving on to like SND type of class for this Cat AMR, do not rock the seven round mag, it's really useless. Uh, you can rock the Phantom Grip 
right? Those are your four base attachments for S and D. If you like the scope already, then you can rock a quick bolt. But if you don't like the scope and you feel like you want to change it up a little bit, you can use the SPX scope. I feel like that is the best one to use in my opinion. Uh, MCPR scope is good as well from what I've heard, but I heard that that scope kind of, I don't know, inconsistent, I think. I'm not too sure, but all I know is that the SPX scope is something I would personally use as well. But for this video, like I said, I was having a lot of fun with this regular scope already. And just so you know, they removed the bipod or the underbarrel for the Caddy MR, which is why we're not rocking it anymore. So it's very important to know. Uh, but also keep in mind that the optic scope increases your ADS speed as well. And if you're gonna rock an optic and a bolt, I recommend taking off the rear grip and slap on something like this you know this could work as well but really it all comes down to personal preference and you got to figure out what is going to be easier for you to use and then for the rest of the class setup this is what i'm rocking all right so now moving on to the warzone class setup for the cat amr now before i show you guys i'm going to show some clips in between unfortunately my game audio cut out and i just was not able to get game audio i don't know my, this, my recording messed up and dude morning lobbies and solo are gas, bro. I had such a blast literally playing like my second game on and SBMM was pretty fire. So the class setup I was using for this, uh, I'm gonna build it from the ground up. We're gonna start off with the muzzle. So the first attachment you're gonna wanna rock is the XRK Nightfall Suppressor. This will increase your damage range by a lot here. And yes, this will decrease your ADS, but we have attachments to make up for that. And also allowing you to be able to shoot however many times you want without putting yourself on the radar and you know, just being suppressed. And then your next attachment is gonna be the barrel. You're gonna rock the Zhang barrel. This will also increase the damage range on this, allowing you to be able to almost one shot with three armor plates, but not just quite yet. And then your third attachment is gonna be the tactical stock pad. This will increase your ADS speed by a lot, 7.5. Now keep in mind, these three attachments right now are the core base attachments you should be using. Uh, if you don't want to be rocking a laser, you can rock an optic or like, you know, a scope. The SPX scope is going to be great for close range, medium range, and long range because you can also zoom in with it. So it's basically like a variable zoom. So you can slap that on or you can slap on the laser. If you're going to use the laser, use the FSS or the laser. But just remember that your laser will be shown. Or you could even go ahead and use a phantom grip if you don't want to use the laser as well. So really, honestly, it just comes down to personal preference. But for the sake of this video of what I was using, the SPX scope. Now, moving on to the fifth attachment. This is the most important one. This is the explosive explosive round ammunition attachment now unfortunately you need to rock this attachment because if you don't then you will not be able to get a one shot to the head with three plates and obviously through these clips i'm getting a one shot to the head and war zone here clearly there's times where i don't get a one shot and that's because i'm not shooting at the head i accidentally shoot at the body some occasions yes they don't have plates and i shoot them in the chest and i get away with it but honestly this is the only sniper class setup that you can use for war zone to be able to snipe and then for your your second weapon you can use a wsb swarm it doesn't really matter really this is what i was using personally uh you can try it out i don't know if i would recommend it again i think a sub is the most important part of running a sniper class setup uh, and then these are the perks as well if you want to go copy that if you guys found this video helpful be sure to drop a like and a sub while you guys are here all i do is snipe on this channel and i bring the best time content gameplay on youtube if you guys made it this far let me know what class setup you're using for the cat amr whether it's gonna be multiplayer or warzone i read every single comment would love to know what you guys thoughts oh my god wait what there was one to my left no shot I didn't hear him. Oh, I had that win. <laughs> I so had that, bro. 14 kills. I dropped 14 kills. That's actually not bad. Not bad for someone who doesn't play Warzone. You know how I'm saying? I could have dropped like 16 for sure. Sick, dude.